just want us to rise up on our feet as we read from the Bible, Psalm 118, verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercies endure it forever. Let us just begin to thank the Lord. Let us begin to thank him for his mercies, his love, and his favor. His love is forever. Let us just begin to say thank you, Jesus, for all you've thank done for you, us, Lord. for all the benefits, for all the protection, for everything you've done. We see your miracles, we see your goodness, we see your greatness in our midst, oh God. We see everything you've done, oh God. And we say thank you. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for fighting battles for us and giving us victory. We say thank you. Thank you for strength. Thank the Lord for everything. The things that you can even mention and the things we can't even mention. Because they are so numerous. God's love for us, His mercy, His kindness. All He has done for us is uncountable. We can't even count them. But we say indeed, God, you are good. Your goodness is forever. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Blessed be your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for the peace that you have given to us, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. At this moment, I just want you to align yourself with God. Just begin to say, Holy Spirit of God, I align myself with you for today's service. Even as we fellowship in your presence, oh God, let your will be done in my life. Let my heart be ignited to your heart, oh God. That I will be like you, my spirit ignites to your spirit in the name of Jesus. That today I will function in the divine ordinance of God's grace. I will not do things on my own, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I connect myself to you, oh God. As you come and do incredible things today in my life, oh God. Even in your presence, oh God. Oh, Spirit of God, I begin to align myself with the truth that is found in you. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, take control, take control over my heart, my mind, my spirit. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because we know that you are the one that giveth ignite spirit, oh God. We we pray, O oh God, that you flow through us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Rona Brandos, in the name of Jesus. Begin to invite the Holy Spirit into your heart. Begin to say, Holy Spirit, take my mind, my thoughts, my heart. Take over my body, my spirit. Take over, take over, take over. Take over. Use me today, today. Use me today. Use me today. Use me today. Even as I listen to your word, O oh God, use me for your purpose. Use me, O oh God, use me, O oh God. I give myself away to you. I give my spirit away to you. Even those online, even at home, begin to pray. Say, Holy Spirit of God, take control. Take over my life. Take charge of my life today in today's service. That you will use each and every one of us today for the goodness, the propagation of your word. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. For we know you've done it. In Jesus' name. Let us just begin to invite the presence of God. Ask the Lord to take total control, that the windows of heaven will be opened today and God's power and spirit, glory will be poured down. Let us begin to ask. Say, Holy Spirit, open the cabados. Oh, take over, take over. Planted at every pillar in the church, oh God. Even as people are coming in, oh God, let your presence welcome them into your, your, your sanctuary. Your presence, your presence. Let them feel your presence. Even right from the gate, oh God. Let them feel your presence. He will right from the entrance. Let them feel your presence. Your presence, take over. Take over in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we want your presence. We want to feel your presence. We want to see your presence in the name of Jesus. That everything we do, take over. Take over, take over. This service, take over in the name of Jesus. Because this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day you have made. This is the day you have made. This is the day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The devil cannot steal our joy. The devil cannot steal the peace that God has planted 
on today's service in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to cast every spirit of heaviness, every spirit of heaviness in the church, in the presence of God, out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of heaviness out in the name of Jesus. That which God has for each and every one of us today shall be made on in the name of Jesus. The devil will not steal away the goodness, the presence of God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let your presence flow in our hearts, oh God. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God, move mightily in our midst. Move mightily in our midst. Move mightily in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us just begin to ask the Lord that he be planted in the church. Let us pray for the church. That God's word will be planted and rooted. That we will be planted and established in God's word, in him. Let us begin to pray. Oh God, we pray for the church, oh God. That we will be planted and rooted in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will be rooted in your word, oh God. Aligning our life in accordance to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, give us the grace, oh God. To be planted, oh God. To be planted. Let us give us the grace to be planted. And beauty. In you in the name of Jesus, the church of God, that the Lord of heaven and earth we plant His word in the church, we plant His word in the church, that the church will be built on the word of God, that the church will be built on the word of God in the name of Jesus. We will align our lives and the church in accordance to your will in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not planted by God that is magnifying itself in the service in the house of God, that that will be uprooted in the mighty name of. Jesus. Everything that is not planted by God, every word that is not from the Lord will be uprooted in the name of Jesus. This church is moving and standing on the solid word of God. The word of God that can never change. The word of God that can never shake in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, take control in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray for families in the church. Pray for marriages. The devil is trying to destroy marriages. Do you know that the devil is afraid of prayer of unity? Because you know when husband and wife join hand together to pray, the kingdom of devil, the kingdom of hell is at risk. Like they are trembling. So he's trying to cause confusions between marriages in the church. He's targeting Christian marriages because he knows the prayer of the righteous ones. Let us begin to pray for Christian marriages in the church. That God will take total control. The devil cannot cause sorrow, destruction, and separation. That God will take total control. Let us pray for families and churches. In the name of Jesus, all over the church, all over the world, Christian marriages that the devil will not destroy, cannot cause confusion. In the name of Jesus, homes will be planted in the Lord of God. And the Bible says, and for me and my household, we praise the Lord, we serve the Lord. Hey, Masupriendo, hey, Jesus, every power from the peace of hell that is working against marriages in the church, that is fighting against marriages in the church, that is fighting against families that want to destroy families. Families, oh, we pray against that power. We pray against that spirit that is causing destruction, confusion in families, disunity in families. We destroy in the name of Jesus. Every home, so God, is planted on your word, established in your word. In the name of Jesus, children will listen to parents. Children will listen to prayers. Parents and children will be united. In the name of Jesus. Touch the heart of youth, touch the heart of youth to listen, to acknowledge the word of their parents because you said in the word that children obey your parents for this is right, for this is right in the name of Jesus. Every strong act in the youth, every strong act in the youth, it is taken away and replaced with the spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Give the youth spirit to obey the word of God. Honor the father and the mother in the name of Jesus. Every power. From the pit of hell that is causing children, children of God, not to obey children, not to obey their parents. We destroy, we destroy the church. We acknowledge the word of God. The church will stand in the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us begin to pray for expecting mothers with the fruit of the womb. That God will grant them safe delivery. 
You know anyone in the church, let us use Brother Brock's wife to reach out to, at the point of contact. To reach every desperate mother. That God will grant safe delivery in the name of Jesus. Like just like the Hebrew women. That they deliver safely. Sound in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus, we pray. We use Brother Brock's wife at the point of contact to reach every pregnant woman. Give them safe delivery in the church, out of the church, in the world, in the name of Jesus. Give them strength, oh God. Just as the Hebrew women deliver, oh God. So that we deliver safe and sound, no complications. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Children are blessings of God. Children are blessings of God. No evil one shall snatch this one away. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. We cover Sister Sai with the blood of Jesus. She is blessed in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, take control. Take control. Take control. Every plan of the devil is destroyed. The church is coming together to pray. This is God's word. And we stand on it. It is established. It is established that she is delivering successfully in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now let us begin to pray for the nation. Let us use Ukraine as the point of contact to reach every other nation. We don't know what the devil is planning, but God, because God lives, we know we can face tomorrow. Yes. We know that God will protect the cities, the nation, yes. that we use Ukraine as a point of contact. That any evil, every plan of the devil against nation, that the Lord will destroy in the name of Jesus. Let us use Ukraine as a point of contact. Jesus, we don't know what is going to happen, but we know that because we trust in you, nothing that will come against the righteous. We use Ukraine as a point of contact. That you use all God, cause peace in Ukraine. Even though, Lord Jesus, this war that are going, oh God, we pray, oh God, that this war comes to an end, oh God. Lies that are close, oh God. We pray that you set them free from this thick darkness. In any way, Ukraine has come against you, oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus, as a church, that you cause them, oh God, to see your face, oh God. Cause Ukraine to see your face. Cause the world to see your face. In the name of Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. Mercy. In any right way, the nation has come peace. against you. That Holy is causing this great darkness, this war, oh God. Have mercy, have mercy. As a church, we pray for mercy. Because you say, if we pray, oh, those that are called by your name, humble themselves and pray. Turn for their evil way. You will heal our land. This is your word, oh God. We are standing on your word. Heal our land, oh God. Heal the land, oh God. From every destruction, from every deceit, from every war. In the land of God, in the name of Jesus, your word also said, pray for the nation that the God of heaven has caused you to go. Because when the nation prosper, we prosper in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray that every law in Canada that does not glorify the name of God, that it will be uprooted. Any law that will not magnify God's name, that will cause Christians to go into confusion and destruction, let God uproot those laws in the name of Jesus. Every law that does not glorify your name in the name on the land of Canada, oh God, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every law that will cause Christians to be shaken, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. That your law be planted in Canada. In the mighty name of Jesus, every law that does not glorify your name, let it be uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, take control. Take control. The law of the land cannot distract Christians. In the name of Jesus, every law that we cause Christians to pass life, every law that we cause Christians to not focus on the things of God, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let us begin to pray for the word and the servant that God will use today to deliver his word. That God will empower and fill him with the spirit. That even as the word comes, that we will receive the word with great understanding. And the spirit of God will reveal the mystery behind the things of God towards us. Let us begin to pray for the word. The word of the Lord is a light. And it gives understanding to the simple. Lord Jesus, even as your word comes today, use the man of God that you are using the 
servants of God that will deliver the word mightily, that the word will come and pierce our hearts in the name of Jesus, that your word will cause an igniting fire in us, that your word will cause an igniting fire in our lives, oh God. Your word will pierce our hearts. We will not just be the hearer of your word, we will be the doer of your word. We will be the doer of your word in the name of Jesus. We will do in accordance to your word in the name of Jesus. Your word will not just fall on empty ground. Your word will fall in our hearts, in our hearts, and we will do in accordance to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Begin to thank the Lord for prayer answers. Begin to thank the Lord for prayer answers. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for prayer answers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We know that you are able. You are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can even ask for. Glory, glory, glory. Holy Spirit of God, take control. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God. We thank you. Thank Lord. you, Jesus, for prayer answers. Yes. Lord. Thank you because we know everyone here that is even sick is healed. Yes, thank Lord. you because we know that you have done it. Thank this you, is the Jesus. confidence we have in you, oh God. Hallelujah. That if we ask of anything according to your will, you will yes, do it. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We Take total you, control, God. In we open our service Jesus. in the name of God the Father. Yes. We open today's Son in the name of God the Son. Hallelujah. And in the name of God, your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Take control, oh God. That's in Jesus' control. mighty name we pray. Amen. Happy to be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God. Just soak yourself in the presence of God. Just meditate and sing unto God as we worship God. You know what God has done in your life. So nobody can worship God for you. So as you're here this morning, just meditate on the goodness of God and just give him all the praise. For he deserves to be praised. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine, heir of salvation.
up your voice. We want to see you. We want to see you. Come on. Like a mighty rush We want to dwell. We want to dwell. We want to dwell. Under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you. We want to see you. Like a mighty rush To dwell, we want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to dwell, oh God. We want to dwell, we want to dwell in your presence, God. our father and we he's also our friend hallelujah let's give a clap for the god and
We rejoice in him. Without him, we cannot rejoice. Amen. Amen. And because of him, we are victorious and we are winners. Amen. Amen. I want to share with you quickly before the communion, uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 15 to 20. And then we will also look at uh, Luke chapter 20, uh, to, sorry, 22, verse 28 to 30. And that is uh, where we're going to base to partake in communion today. Amen. chapter 22. And I read from the King James Version 22 verse 15 to 20. And it says that, and he said unto them, with desire have I desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This, is, this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you. And I'm going to skip to verse 28 to 30. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at the table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. This is the word of the Lord, and Jesus has said this for us to continue until his coming. Amen? Amen. Or until we return to him. So, um, for um, if you're, it's your first time uh, here, you are welcome to partake in the communion as long as you are, you are certain and you know that you are born again. You have given your life to Jesus. You have surrendered to Jesus. And you belong to the kingdom. You are more than welcome to partake. And we are going to share. We are going to ask the ushers to join us. I am going to bring it to the front. And uh, we are going to, in order to have order, we will take an exit. That way we come from this center, center uh, aisle. And even those of you that are there, once the ushers give you uh, a direction to come, come from the back. And then we'll exit that way so we don't run into each other. Amen? Amen. Just take a moment, pray, and you know where you are at with God, um, even though you are a child of God. Um, where the Bible says in Corinthians that uh, some of us eat it unworthy and we fall asleep. Mm. Um, and some of us, we eat domination upon ourselves. Because we, don't, we, we take it unworthy. Unworthy means if there is a sin in you, you know. We don't know. God knows between you and God. And, and, but he's made provision that all have sinned and fall short of his glory. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. I want you to uh, take this moment, this privilege, and talk to him and make amends between you and him and, and, and before you approach the table. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for making everything available for us to partake in the broken body of Christ and the shed blood of Christ. You made provisions for us to come to you and to confess our sins, and you are faithful enough that you will not break your word. When you give your word, you fulfill it as long as we will come according to your word. So we thank you for your word. We thank you for your promise. We thank you for the provision. Provision 
to us to come to you to make ourselves worthy and, and also to come to you to partake in your broken body that is made for us, that is given to us and that is uh, 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 given for our partaking, our sharing. So we come to you this moment and you know each and individual, in each and individual person's heart where they stand. You know their lives into the much detail. And Lord, as they call on you, as they are asking, according to your word in, Ma in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, say we should ask and we will receive. We should seek and we'll find. We should knock and the doors will be open as we are asking for forgiveness that you will forgive us. Every one of us in this room, as much as, oh God, uh, we have committed a sin, iniquity, transgressions, oh God, or trespasses, Lord, we pray that heaven will hear and forgive us and cleanse us with the, the precious blood of Jesus, even as we approach the table. We don't want to eat this into domination, onto domination, onto destruction, onto sickness, onto disease, but to the contrary, we want to eat it onto strength. We want to partake it onto revitalizing our being, regenerating our, our being in the name of Jesus and to cause us to bring a refreshing, times of refreshing, Bring healing even as we partake it. Let every disease in our bodies, every infirmities in our being be, uh, be dissipate in the name of Jesus. So thank you for this privilege in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Bye. 
that they will have joy in them, that the joy of the Lord shall be their strength, that the strength of the Lord shall come upon these ones and sanctify them and set them apart for their generation and set them apart to be different and set them apart to be healthy and set them apart to be protected and set them apart to see the glory and the hand of God upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory for these wonderful and beautiful ones that you have blessed us with Father thank you for each child and even those that are online thank you for each family in the name of Jesus that they shall fulfill their destiny they shall see the glory of the Lord they shall be the head and not the tail they shall rise and shine for the glory of the Lord is risen upon these ones in the name of Jesus even in the grave My parents were Christians and they took me to church and they lay their hands upon me. Imagine if they had been laying their hands on me and praying for me, where I would have been by now. Even though I'm somewhere, but I could have been fed. Amen. Give a hand clap to Jesus. And we believe that these children, our children in this house, they're going to be fulfill their destiny, each one of them. Amen. They will not die premature. Amen. And the devil shall not snatch them away from the house of God and from God himself and his house. Amen. 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 We believe that out of them, great men and women are going to come out. Some will be prime ministers. Hallelujah. Some will be businessmen and women. Amen. Some of them will be inventors. Amen. Some of them, I mean, and some will be doctors, engineers, construction workers, wherever their destinies are, that they will surely fulfill it. Some will Amen. be pastors, Amen. prophets, Amen. apostles, Amen. evangelists, teachers, and, 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 and miracle workers. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Without further delay, I want to call on uh, brother, uh, our dear beloved evangelist and brother and minister. Uh, uh, Michael Ojema, let's give him a hand clap. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! He brought us a word of evangelism about evangelism.